so this is quite random and I didn't expect all of this to take place, but a resurfaced interview has come about of Lamar Odom. And he talks about Taraji P. Henson, who he was dating. I had no idea about that. And also Chloe Kardashian. Significant relationship as a grown up that I had with a black woman. Hey guys, it's Morag Morali back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It's daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Coming to you with consistent content even in Dubai. Anyhow, let's get into this. Lamar Odin, in a 2019 resurface interview that's basically gained major traction, is talking about how he fell in love with, you know, a black woman who really inspired him, his own, his own words, and I'll put the interview, within, you know, within this video, and that, you know, the most inspirational black, black woman that he's been with, you know, him, perfect at his craft. Several dudes that play with me, but she gave me inspiration, you know what I'm saying? A black woman working like that, that's just as good as her craft, and I'm as good as my craft. Taraji P. Henson perfect at her craft and you know perfecting herself and him as well you know everything was going great for them and then the ending of the video was very bizarre of the interview because he talks about how much in love he was with her but then at the same time what he didn't and described how perfect she is and everything was great and the romance was there and we were falling in love you know setting the scene and the story of you know what she can bring to me what I'm inspired by and then in the last 10 seconds just says oh you know but she didn't know that i was also falling in love with another another woman called chloe kardashian getting that one of my inspiration that was part of the inspiration for me going back to see her going getting back to la was one of the reasons why i like kicked their ass that day i didn't know how to tell her that i was falling in love with another woman named chloe kardashian so yet again number one we're going to break this down because there's a lot to talk about lamar himself continuously in this interview talks about what she provides for him. Notice that, you know, um, it talks about, you know, how much inspiration that Taraji brought for him, you know, what kind of service that she's bringing for him, you know, and then the second point is for you to be talking about how inspirational you are from this black woman who has given you so much early for then you to go for this, early for you then to go to this white woman. It doesn't make any sense. There's no correlation here. It kind of makes me feel like you're faking it for the interview or you're just completely confused. He does have regrets with how he dealt with the situation, which he also said as well. I'm sure everybody has regrets to some certain extent, but it's just a very bizarre interview. The third point is, is, is that it now implicates Chloe again. I feel like the girl can't catch a break, but to be honest with you, when we're talking about her not catching a break, could this just be, you know, her past chasing up to her? Let's talk about that because if you're out here you know, being caught willingly taking men again from people who are in fully fledged couples, you are part of the problem. You know, now Lamar Odom is more accountable because he is the man that obviously left Taraji for Chloe, you know, whilst they were still in a relationship. Nobody is denying that, and the man is completely at fault. And I feel like that's not what I'm trying to say. But for Chloe to willingly be dabbling in this, accepting this, having fun in this, um, you know, you are participating in some form of cheating and then you don't like it when somebody's cheating on you. Um, you did it with Tristan because he was with somebody else. You've done it now with Lamar. You probably did it with something else, with someone else, I don't know. But you've done it amount of times and now we're seeing this man cheating on you three to four times, sleeping on you, getting babies, etc., etc., etc. Is this just your karma? And that perhaps people who are saying to you, you know, see your self-worth, see your self-worth, maybe she never had any self-worth to begin with because she was out here sleeping up with men who were already in relationships. That's the gag. All of us have a little damage when it comes to our self-worth, of course. But we're talking about how can you, we, we've been, when we see her getting cheated on, you know, we feel sorry for her a little bit here and there at first, but like, oh, you know, we feel sorry for you or, you know, see, see value in yourself, Chloe, you can do better than him. You can move around. You can leave him. You can leave that man. Look what he does to you. He embarrasses you, etc., etc., etc. But if this is how you've been playing and this is what you've been doing, you've already been on this low barrel of stealing men so for anybody to be saying in hindsight to even really be saying oh you know this girl needs to see more value in herself she never even saw value in anybody else number one because she's stealing up men number two she doesn't have any value within herself because she puts herself in these predicaments and situations so any empathy anybody would have for the fact that you feel sorry for her for being cheated on by tristan so many times doesn't make any sense to me anymore now even my empathy at first doesn't make any sense to me because this is multiple situations where she cheated on men and taken their men and, you know, it's disrespectful to Taraji, disrespectful to the girl, whoever is involved with Tristan. I think Trina, for one situation as well, was involved. I don't know what that is about. But there's been multiple situations where Chloe has continuously been intimate with a man, allegedly, or around a man, whilst that man is in a fully-fledged relationship. 
So for you to be doing all of this and then for it to hit back on you, you know, my empathy now has completely gone. Like, I didn't even know it was this as well. So Taraji, I think, said that, you know, ages ago that she wants him to stop speaking on him, etc., etc. Um, I think the interview that he's doing is reckless. It's not necessary. There's so much delusion and disconnect in what he's saying. And the fact that he's not aware of that is just very bizarre. A lot of people are commenting this on Twitter saying um, Taraji dodged the biggest bullet. Um, has Chloe ever not stolen a man from a black woman? Um, now, why would he tell us he cheated on our good sister Taraji with side chick Chloe? Chloe is always the side chick, man. Sometimes I see these stories I want to be funded for the black woman. They stepped out on to get to the white woman. But as many of you have pointed out, this was a blessing for Taraji. Um, and Chloe is still taking L's. Sometimes rejection is God's protection, definitely. That's why I love when Megan put Taraji in the body. But okay, that's nothing to do with it. Um, Chloe had just been with these men that are not available, but they, they, she still takes them. Whew. Anyways, it's just a bit mad, to be honest with you. Like, she inspired me. I felt deep for her, my most insignificant relationship. She taught me a lot. I played better. And then you're out here running to Chloe. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's very bizarre. Whew. Like, I just, I'm very confused. I'm not really seeing sense in what she's saying. She definitely dodged a bullet whilst we can agree, but I feel like Chloe's the one that's catching all these bullets. The fact that you've been stepping out continuously, it's just a hot mess, but basically he kind of implicates her in this. And if Tristan treats on you again, like if you guys are still together, I just don't really care because you've been doing this to other people. It's just life coming back at you, I guess. Let me know your thoughts are, subscribe to the channel, click that button guys, it's daily and consistent content, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.